All right, everybody, here we are with the new long-awaited rotisserie for the Primo XL. Going to do a quick uh, unboxing here, and then uh, we'll hook it up and get it set up on my XL hanging out over here. So let's get at it. All right, so it looks like we've got the ring here. Looks like down here we've got our spit. And these nice packages here. going to have our Primo branded rotisserie motor. And uh, the rotisserie claws here. And it looks like some adapter brackets and such uh, for the installation. All right, so now we got everything out. Let's go ahead and Look at putting everything uh, together here. So looks like we've got our spit rod here and it will go into uh, this piece here to create kind of a handle, I guess, for lifting it off. I'll just thread that on there. Next we'll slide on our deal here. Make sure you get your set screw there. Get it tightened down. It's a good solid fit for sure. Alright, let's go ahead and get that ring set. So come on over. Just easy like butter. Drop her in. Make sure your curves are right. Check out the little badge there on the front for some Primo branding. Let's close her up and check it out real fast. So I do notice there's a little bit of gap back here, but I don't think that's going to be enough really to make <clears throat> much of a difference. All right, we got our ring set. We got our motor bracket here. You got three screws with uh, uh, nuts on the bottom there. So we'll just come over, slide the bracket, uh, the motor there into the bracket. We'll grab our spit, drop it into the little grooves here. Feed the other end into, you see my ghetto power. All right, moment of truth, guys. Voila. Look at her spin. Man, that motor is quiet. Doesn't feel like it's, it's really doing much at all but look at that look at that it's beautiful let's close up here real fast just to make sure we're still spinning there we go beautiful all right that's going to do it for the new primo rotisserie unboxing and install going to Put some chicken on here tonight and fire this bad boy up using my kick ash can and basket another great product uh, to help enhance your use of the primo uh, really makes cleanup and uh, saving your coals from 
previous cooks a uh, a breeze. As you can see, there's some still down in there that it's leftovers from yesterday. Did a, a 13 hour cook on a Boston butt, about 11 pounds. Uh, got that cleaned up, and that's all the coals I had left over from that. So, guys, that's going to be it. Check back for more. See ya.